Greetings. I have been playing around with drawing custom pixels in the DCPU using only official hardware. So no extra trickery, only the specified DCPU monitor and no extras. First I will show the method I have used and after that I will show some example programs. So if you want you can skip the technical parts. I have opened the GIMP image editor here on a 4x6, uh, sorry, 4x8 image. This is what the DCPU's monitor uses for characters. So for example, an A looks like this. The method I use doesn't draw uh, separate pixels like these, but instead I decided to use two by two pixels. I couldn't think of another way of using direct pixels like these. So um, the way I did it in my program, I built up a font map going through all the combinations of the pixels that are possible. So the zeroth character would be an empty character like this. The first one is the first pixel set, the second is the second pixel set, and then going through in a binary way through all the possible pixels. So it would continue like this, then this would be filled, and that way you would have all the combinations of pixels. But unfortunately, the DCPU's monitor can only store 182 characters. That is 2 to the power of 7. That means that after this character here, I ran out of characters. The way I handled drawing to the last pixel is by inverting the character, so flipping the background and foreground color. So if you want to draw um, pixels like these, you would take this pixel combination and invert it. So this was a tricky part to do. Uh, if you, for example, if on the screen there are already pixels like these and you draw here, you have to handle it separately. Or if there's already a pixel here and you draw here, you get the point. So these should be the technical aspects explained and let's go to some samples now. First off, let's look at the image map as it appears in the DCPU. Maybe this makes it a bit clearer what I was trying to explain earlier. This has just printed all the characters that are in the monitor's character map. So this is the zeroth character, which is empty. This one has the first pixel set, this one has the second, this one has first and uh, the first and the second, so a binary three, and it goes all the way up to the first seven pixels filled. And you can see the eighth pixel is never filled. That's handled by the background foreground color flipping. For me, it was already pretty hard to make this character map. So this isn't hard coded. This is all done by a subroutine in the program before anything else gets executed. All right. Let's look at let's look at a simple application of this. A um, lot of you might recognize this as the Sierpinski triangle. This is drawn using a very simple method using excluding or on two pixels that has that have already been drawn. So you can test it. Oh, by the way, my emulator has uh, reloading the file as a feature. So if you play around with radiation and the program gets messed up, you can restart it and have a clean program. But I will show that later again. All right, next. I have made a little sketching program. You can try it if you follow the link in the video description, you can download my emulator and all these sample programs. Um, the programs should work with other emulators too, I guess. I haven't tested them, but 
I did follow the standards, so they should work. So this is a program which lets you draw stuff with pixels, just to demonstrate that really you can draw pixels anywhere. Unfortunately, you can't delete them. I didn't make a method for that, but it's possible to. Drawing pixels was tricky enough for me. You can uh, stop drawing and start drawing and have a look at where the cursor is right now without changing the image. Maybe you can draw something nice with it. So then I made methods for drawing lines. This is a it should be a three-dimensional rotating cube. I added methods for connecting two points on the screen. And it's rather difficult if you want to do it in assembly. You have to uh, watch out for different cases like having steep or flat lines or what it should do when one of the lines um, if uh, the coordinate of one point is less than the coordinate coordinate of the other point so you have to flip signs and everything it, it was a lot of work so anyway um, this is one of the applications this pixel drawing could be used for line drawing and maybe in some cases three-dimensional drawing. By the way, this program behaves pretty funnily if you apply radiation. It usually breaks very soon, but uh, sometimes, whoa, yeah, you get different effects, but one effect I got often that one line breaks away from the cube, like just now, and it keeps rotating with the cube. I think it's pretty great just that you replace random parts of the program and it can continue running but with different patterns like I, like I explained in the radiation video. And I also made a version of this cube which you can control. So um, the animation in the last program could also have been achieved by hard coding all the images and just switching between them. But for this program, you'd have too many combinations, I think, to store them all. So when you have um, when you have interactive graphics like these, and you can't just save all the images, drawing pixels can be useful. All right, I hope you had fun watching this, and I hope you will try out my programs. Maybe you have learned something from this. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.